Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can get rid of an exception within the transaction code SQ02. So within the info set, if you are using SAP GUI 8.00 and the 64-bit version as I am doing. Um, if you, for example, open up the SQ02 to basically maintain the info sets and we open up any info set, so for example, the set underscore test, go into the change mode, into the join definitions, then here right now we can't see any table. And if we go back, Boom, that's the exception basically, exception condition CNTL underscore error triggered. So you can scroll down, you can analyze the source code if you want to. So where basically happens on this part, so double click. So here right now the exception is being raised. So here this error happens. And yeah, also this happens within the SQVI, so within the quick viewer transaction. And I would like to show you how you can get rid of this. If you would like to get rid of this, we need one as a P node. And therefore, you open up the transaction as node to go into the node assistant or the SAP nodes because here basically you import the SAP nodes. And now what you have to do is you have to go to go to and then download SAP node and then you enter the SAP node 33004600. Then you go into the execute button and now the SAP node is being downloaded. Um, basically to download the SAP node an RFC connection to the support portal is needed. Here right now I have to enter my name and ID. And here it's important that you enter your SAP S user and your corresponding passport. So not your SAP user credentials, your S user. So I'm doing this. And now, as you can see, your requested as a pay node have been downloaded. And we go to new and here right now we search for our SAP node. So here we can see it at the end. So, and then we uh, select it, uh, it has the status can be implemented. And then we go to SAP node and then implement SAP node. So here we can see load the following SAP nodes into your system. So we select this and then we download SAP nodes to have a prerequisite. And here once again enter your SAP S user credentials. So here right now you can see a kind of warning that the correction or the SAP nodes can have some side effects if you want to. Within here, you can click to notes and um, yeah, you can see it if you want to. So, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, we would like to download the SAP node once again. So here we can see the SAP node. Um, here you have some short, you have some um, descriptions and yeah so here read it carefully that's perfectly fine so then go once back and click on yes uh, yes that's perfectly fine for the other SAP node yep here you have to specify one request one workbench request. If you not have one, then here you can click to create request and create one. And here basically you can see what the, the SAP node changes. So therefore here, if you want to, you can click to the object and see basically um, what it does. So what are the, the changes or so the change to source code? Um, yeah, if you want, you can read this more closely as you can do within here as well. So, and 
here you can apply the changes so that's perfectly fine and then you go to continue here right now you can see your inactive objects so those two objects that come with the changes that's also perfectly fine we would like to activate those Okay, great. So the objects are activated and uh, in some cases um, you can see in the SAP notes that you have a manual step maybe before or after the changes. Here right now we don't have any manual steps. So here right now we are done. So what we can do is within the SQ02 check our changes, go into the change mode, in, into the join and here right now we can see once again our editor um uh, yeah the table and if we go no one step back um yeah that's perfectly fine we don't crash our program so that is perfectly fine by the way if you for example if we go once again into the s node transaction and within go to and then download SAP node. Here right now, once you enter the um, SAP node number and you click on execute and for example, don't um, have access to the SAP portal. Here right now I can simulate this. I go, for example, I enter some credentials that doesn't exist or go to cancel and you get this error message so you get an rfc connection error um, that's basically you don't have a rfc connection to the sap portal you need to have to download it directly you can have also a workaround and to do this you have to go to port.sap.com then hit the enter key and here right now okay we can accept those here right now you have to enter the SAP node. So enter this, click on uh, search or hit the enter key. And here you have to enter your SAP S user. So in this case, I'm doing this, hit the enter, enter my password. So then here you have almost exactly the same description as you saw in SAP system and here in the toolbar you have the button download for S node so you can click this then the uh, SAR file will be downloaded and then what you have to do is we you have to go once again into the S node transaction and go to go to and upload SAP node so and here right now you have to go to downloads and then you have to select your SAR file. So you click on open because I have already done this. It's not needed. And then you can follow the same steps as you saw earlier. So then you have it uh, within uh, the new. And then you can also select it and then go to SAP node and implement SAP node and you can follow the same steps. Of course, if you, because we saw this, you have one uh, prerequisite. So yeah, that is needed. Of course, um, this SAP node. So you have to download this SAP node, of course, as well manually to upload it, it manually if you don't have a proper RFC connection. Um, yeah, I will put the link also in the video description. And if you have any questions left, put them in the comment section. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.